Hey there fellow streamers, are you thinking about multi-streaming, but you're not quite sure if your hardware or your internet can handle the load? Well, I've got something great for you, the Caster Labs Multi-Streamer. Now before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications on more content like this where we'll go over different tips and tricks for the streaming world. So what is Caster Labs Multi-Streamer? Well, it's a fantastic tool that allows you to take one stream and broadcast it across multiple platforms simultaneously. Now you might be asking yourself, why should I use Caster Labs Multi-Streamer? Well, let me tell you, not only does Caster Labs Multi-Streamer allow you to stream to multiple platforms without putting extra stress on your PC or your internet connection, but it also comes at a fraction of the cost of most of the other competitors. While there are certainly other free options for OBS and multi-streaming, it's important to note that many of these require more hardware and bandwidth requirements than most single PC streamers can handle. It's important to note that with Caster Labs, you're gonna get a seamless experience without worrying about overwhelming your setup. Not only that, they're constantly working on new features such as transcoding, so you'll wanna stay up to date. Now let's talk about pricing. While other services like Restream.io charge $19 a month for just five channels and to remove their marketing branding, Caster Labs gives you even more value with just $7 per month for six channels. And it's important to note that they don't have branding on any of their tiers. Ready to get started? Well, you can find the Caster Labs multi-streamer link down in the description below. And hey, using the affiliated link helps support my channel, which in return allows me to provide quality content like this for all of you. All right, so you have followed the affiliate link you see here your plans and what each one um, gives you access to. From there, we're gonna go up to the top and hit my dashboard. From there, you'll see it's gonna ask you to either enter an email to create an account, or you can continue and use your Twitch account to link. I always suggest using an email. Uh, you just never know if, if one day you decide you're not gonna use Twitch anymore or if you lose access to that. Uh, I think email is a lot easier to get access back. Um, but we're going to go ahead and fill that out now. Now from here, it's going to ask you to provide your name and an email address. Once you've done that, it's going to have you confirm the email address. At that point, it'll ask you how you want to set up your authentication, whether via text message or via an authentication app. I prefer the authentication apps myself. From there, it's going to give you some authentication codes that you're going to save in a safe space, whether it be you print them, save them to a file, whatever you decide. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to move forward. It's going to ask you to select the tier that you would like to use. And then from there, you're going to input your billing information and you're going to hit start trial. Now, when you do this, you're going to get seven days of a free trial to test the service. If at any point you decide you don't want to use the service, you can go ahead and end your trial at that point and you won't be charged. If you decide to continue at the end of that trial, it will charge whatever amount for the service you selected and then it'll go on month by month. All right, so once you're all set up, it's time to access your dashboard. So we're gonna start, you're gonna click on the multi-streamer dashboard at the top right, and it's gonna bring you to this channel right here. Uh, you'll see here you have a server URL and a stream key. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those and we're going to put those directly into your OBS. Um, and I'll show you that here in a second. Now, when you go in, two important things to note, for one, if you're US based, you're going to use the US uh, servers. If you are EU based, you're going to use the London servers. Uh, you also want to note that it says auto keyframe interval is broken. So you need to use a two second interval right now. They are working on transcoding though. So that should be updated before too long. Uh, so we're going to do is go over here to the OBS. Uh, you'll go into your settings. So from your settings, you'll see that you have the stream section and you're going to do custom. And then from here, this is where you're going to put in that server ID and the stream key that was provided in that dashboard. And once that's done, you're going to hit apply and then OK. And then that is <laughs> that is what we're going to do with the OBS. Now, once we're finished with that, we're going to go back into the dashboard. And from here, this is where we're going to start to add in our other platforms. Now, depending on how many you're using, obviously, that's what you're going to set into the dashboard. Um, right now, I'm only currently using three because I only use three primary platforms uh, being Kick, YouTube, and Twitter. Uh, so I can set these to auto start. 
But what you're going to do is down here where this plus symbol is, you're going to click on that. You're going to go over here and you're going to select the service. So you'll see they have Facebook, Kick, YouTube, Trovo, Twitch, and the RTMP for anything that's not already in there. Uh, you'll select the, the whichever um, site that you're using. From there, you can label it. So this is where you directly can name it. Uh, and then from there, you're going to include the server URL, which is your RTMP server. Uh, and then you're going to include your stream key as well from that service. Um, now you'll notice that the ones for like kick Twitch, YouTube, uh, they've already got the RTMP server ID in there. All you have to do is include the stream key. Uh, if it's something else like Twitter by chance, what you're going to have to do is go in again, find that server, uh, put that in there, and then you're going to include the stream key from those services. Now, if you want to set them to auto start with your OBS, what you're going to do is come over here and just check on your auto start feature. If you don't want it to auto start, what you can do is start it from your OBS. You'll see that a preview will pop up up here. And then from there, you can go through and whatever services you want to push that stream to, you'll hit the play button and it'll start pushing. And then once you're ready to end, you'll have to go back in and hit stop. Or if it's already set to auto start, it'll automatically stop it when you stop OBS. But hold up, there's more with Caster Labs you get access to the Caster Labs caffeinated application. So with this, you get an all-in-one dashboard, chatbot, widgets and alerts, and OBS docs all for free. This is not anything you have to pay additional for, and you're not limited to how many different platforms you can use within the chat. Be sure to watch out for my next video where I'm gonna go over the Caster Labs caffeinated app and all of the things that you can do with. So what are you waiting for? Follow those links down in the description. Get Caster Labs Multi-Streamer and the caffeinated application today and take your streams to the next level. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified of the next video that we put out. I appreciate you all. Happy streaming, everyone.